Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Makisha868. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, guys, thank you so much for the support. As you guys can see from the title, this video is going to be on the new Rihanna Fenty Beauty launch. And Rihanna launched um, new concealers. Um, and she added to her foundation shade. And she also added setting pow powders to the launch. So in this video, I'm just going to do a beat and show you guys some of the products from the launch and give you my first impressions on them. So let's get started if you would like to see this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel so my brows are on already um i'm going to start with the face so i'm going to use rihanna's um pro filter instant retouch primer and i'm just going to use one pump and i'm going to use this for my under eye area my face and this is my second video on Fenty Beauty, well my third one, um, I'll link the others in the description bar below, but those videos were based on just the foundation and some of the other products when she first launched. And this primer feels just like a nice moisturizing lotion. And because I'm very oily in my T-zone area, I'm going to use this Becca primer and I'm going to concentrate this in my, on my T-zone area. And this is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. So my face is primed. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. This is in the color 430. And I have a sample of 420 right here. So just going to swatch both and show you guys how it looks on my face. Alright, first I'm going to do, this is 420. I'm gonna take a little bit. So that's 420. Makeup remover wipe. And then here is 430. I'm gonna shake it up. So one pump, I'm just gonna put that right next. The 420. So this one is 420. This one is 430. What do you guys think? I also have the foundation brush and I have the sponge. Um, I don't know, guys. They can both work. So I'm gonna go with the four. Um, I'm gonna go with the 430. It's on this side first. And guys, I'm fairly new to makeup. So I think it's blending in pretty well. And guys, guess what? Forgot to color correct. But it's mostly on this side anyway. Have a bit of discoloration right here. I'm just gonna buff out the color corrector. This is a medium coverage foundation, but it is buildable, so you can add more layers and it does dry down to a matte finish. So I do feel like I look a bit orange. I might switch to the 420 concealed, um, foundation. Try out both for a couple days and see, and then I'll decide if I'm gonna exchange the 430 for the 420. 
guys I'm gonna bring you in a little closer so you can actually see my skin okay so now for the concealer I have 410 and I have 390 this is 410 Wow. And then this is for, so I'm just gonna put on 410 for now. You know what, you know. And I'm gonna use the opposite side of the foundation brush, the 110 foundation brush, and just blend that out. So that blended out really nicely. On this side, I'm gonna use the Fenty sponge and I'm just gonna blend that out. Guys, this blends out so perfectly. I also have 390. I know, let me just put it on the back of my hand first and show you guys how it looks. So that's 390 and it's 410 up top. Up top is 410 and at the bottom is 390. So 390 is more of a yellow and 410 is more of a neutral. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the 390 just to see. But as you guys can see, I have um, a lot of like wrinkles under my eyes and I have deep set in under eyes, which is hereditary and also because I don't get much sleep, but mostly hereditary. So I'm just trying to set my under eye as fast as possible so it doesn't increase. Or should I say crease as least as possible? I'm gonna take the sponge again. And just this is actually my first time using the Laura Mercier powder to set. Okay, so while my under eye is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the rest of my face, and I'm gonna highlight using 410. Guys, this concealer is extremely, extremely creamy. So I'm gonna use the beauty sponge again to end out the concealer. So 
So I'm also gonna set these highlighted areas. Next up, I'm gonna use the matchstick that I love from the last um, the last video I did. And this is the matchstick in Espresso. So I'm just gonna use it on my forehead. I'm gonna use this um, sculpting brush by Real Techniques. And I'm just gonna buff out those areas where I just contoured. Guys, this espresso is such a perfect match for my skin tone. Blending that up into the concealer. So I'm just going back over and making sure that everything is fully blended. So right here my face is doing something a bit weird. Um, that discoloration is peeking through, so I'm just going to blend that out a bit. So now I'm going to use the, the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder and I got this one in hazelnut. This is the color in the back of my hands. It's coming off really light but I'm going to use it to just set my entire face. It's a really nice soft light powder. Um, they did a great job of setting my face. I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face and I'm going to use the Morphe um, bronze tour bronzer and contour and this is in the color showman I'm just setting the contoured areas with this the bronzer side I'm just gonna put a little bronzer over not too much just gonna set my face using the urban decay all night I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes and I'll be back so I'm back guys, I did my face and I used the Fenty Beauty um, Kilowatt Foil. I also used um, Juvia's Place. I don't really like that much shimmer, so I used Ju Juvia's Place for the mattes um, in my transition area. And here's the Kilowatt um, Shades. If you guys want to see how I achieved this look, I can edit that out and put it up for you guys if you guys want to see it. Um, but definitely like this palette. And I did use the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlight. And this one is Ginger Bringe and Moscow Mule. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. And this is NYX. It's called Vintage Retro. I'm just gonna line my lips with this. So I have this Fenty Lippy. This one is called Spanked. I'm gonna just put Spanked on my lips. And it's an all day color intensity weightless matte finish. I'm gonna go back in with the lip liner. Let me see if I can take down some of this brightness so you guys can see the actual color. I don't wanna to be too washed out. I'm gonna go back in with the hazelnut, I believe, hazelnut um, setting powder. And I'm just gonna set my face again. Guys, this looks so cute setting spray. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So I definitely love the concealers. Really great for a first impression. And again, I have the color 410 and 390. And my foundation shade is 430. And now that everything has set, I think I'm going to keep the 430, but I'm going to try out the 420 maybe tomorrow and see how that one works for me. But definitely love this combo. I love the hazelnut um, setting powder. And yeah, if you guys have tried the foundation, comment down below and let me know what shade you are in there. And if you try the concealers, Go ahead and comment down below as well and let me know what you think as well as the setting powder. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.